Good morning, folks. This is Wildfire Smoke, moving across the United States in just three days. You can find the link to this and everything else, as always, in the info box below the video. Wasn't a great day to be in Indonesia. This volcano eruption was followed by a 6.6 .6 earthquake and a number of aftershocks ranging 5.5 to 5.9. Treasure Island in San Francisco is rethinking turning it residential after high radiation level concerns at the demilitarized site. We're still shaking this morning. A 5.6 struck off the coast of Washington and a 3.3 hit Arkansas. Recapping the quakes of the now-ended watch, geocentric factors on the right, we began with deadly six-pointers in Iran, a 7.7 .7 in Russia, and the 6.6 .6 yesterday. I was asked if this means we won't have any more big quakes till the next watch. Certainly not. Besides the fact that the next watch is only three days away, that 5.6 off Washington this morning is significant. There are many drivers of seismicity, tidal forces, fracking, magma flows, and who knows, we may never have an accurate watch ever again. Get many questions like this I can't answer, folks. I'm just like you, searching for that truth. Having a look at the solar wind, the orange, solar wind density goes from near zero to up over 10 protons per cubic centimeter. This is as we take a combination of coronal mass ejection glancing blows and the start of a coronal hole stream, albeit a minor one so far. You can see strongly induced resonance beginning with the high density readings. We also got a simultaneous electron elevation. On the left is the heliocentric alignments. The flare portion of the watch began with a single M flare that struck with Iran's deadly quakes. Then it went quiet until the last two days of the watch, August 15th, 16th, and the start of the 17th here. Quiet, then the M flares began popping and we appeared to peak early on the 18th. While the watch is over, it is impossible to assure you that the sun has stopped. The active region popping those M flares is now turning to face Earth directly but is doing so a bit veiled this morning. Let me explain. The SDO is not updated. This is over a day old. I don't know if this filament is unstable. I know that the sunspot popping M flares has turned in further somewhere, but I have no clue as to its magnetics. Can't check this filament or see if this next coronal hole is any more visible. When this happens, you start with SOHO. I want you to look for CMEs and we clearly have one going north. So let's check from the side. Stereo A with the earth off to the left, ejecta appears to go north all the way. A stereo B with the Earth off to the right, no impact I'm guessing. Also, this is Mercury over here by the way. Also, we still have the GOES imager, multiple ways to watch SXI data. You can see at top left that spot popping the M flares. There's nothing else we have to worry about on the sun. With that, you can see the watches do take a few days off. Of course, that sunspot that popped the M flares is now just getting ready to face Earth and some moderate quakes are still rumbling. So. We'll see what happens. Corona holes set to do their thing as well. That's the news, folks. Eyes open. Be safe.